Austin Henry is also coming to the game to take over at first base for TCU, for Shepard. Caleb Little Jim's first plate appearance. And Green, as he should, pumping strikes. Caleb Little Jim started the first two games of the series, went one for five. He'll flare this one out to shallow center for a base hit. So his final at bat here at Toynton Family Stadium is a hit. A little slider. Just dunked it over. Short stop. And that's what you got to do. You got to make contact. Do everything you can in order to get on base. Now Dylan Kaplinger will be called back, and Cole Johnson will pinch hit. TCU transfer Johnson came through with a two-out, two-RBI base hit for the Wildcats back in the game on Thursday. And a pitch down to Johnson for ball one. Wouldn't be a bad idea to take a strike here. Take till you get strike one. See if you can draw a walk. Need those bases loaded. Fastball, middle of the plate. Crowd doesn't like it. Slider inside part of the strike zone. Two and two. The slider again, this time a little lower. Didn't take the bait. Johnson lines one into right center field. Little Jim runs well. He'll get to third, and the runners are at the corners. Tried to sneak a fastball by him. Johnson did a good job driving it right over second base. So, Cats need just one more base runner to get the tying run to the plate. Conferring. Oh boy, I think he might have gotten his hand yep, in. Yep. He came all the way around. That last, the one before this, that location looked like that hand had gotten in. Yep, right there. The tag. Tag was even with the plate. The hand had snuck in underneath. Well, Austin Waits again at third base, hitting coach for the Cats. Set him, and Johnson trying to score from first on the play. Hand. He's there. You can see he has the foot down to try and block the plate. 
And hadn't tagged him yet. There's the fingers on the plate. The swipe right there late. Back. Defensively. Maybe two. Jersey. One. Your crew and hiring and to show this. It won't be from a lack of views, whatever this call is. Two RBI for Thompson, and it's a two-run game and a tying run coming to the plate. Terrence Ferlin, who has two hits. Keep moving the line. Sperlin. As Coach mentioned, two hits today and has been the hottest hitter for the Cats in the series. Seven hits outside of Thompson. Thompson, of course, with the four hits today, has eight. Terrence is really good at going the opposite way, and there's a ton of room over there between first and second if he gets a fastball on the outside part. Rope pass third, all the way to the corner. Thompson will score. Sperlin on his way to second. Or if he gets a slider on the inside part of the plate and turns on it. Well, Taylor just didn't know what to do with that pitch. It just got on him with top spin. In such a hurry. Well, a little bit of a shell shock reaction right now from TCU, a team that has seen Halen Green be utterly dominant all year, suddenly has given up three runs here in the ninth, and K State's got the tying run in scoring position. And Kirk Sarlo's pitching coach of the Horn Frogs out to the mound for a conference. <laughs> Terrence Sperlin will be taken out for a pinch runner. And Caden Fowler. Well. Cats have given themselves a chance. Tying run at second base, and you've got the three and four hole hitters up. Dylan Phillips represents the winning run. And a home run cut comes up empty on an off-speed pitch. Phillips has homer today and is struck out twice since. And flied out and popped out to shallow left field. One and one. Two breaking pitches to start. See if they continue with that or come in with a fastball. Fastball out of the zone. One and two. I'm not sure he's throwing a strike. Two strikes, got to shorten up. Big hole between shortstop and third base. If get a breaking pitch away. Ground ball through the middle. Fowler around third. He's coming. Shortened his swing up, got the breaking pitch, and just drove it right up the middle. And the Cats are back. And they don't want to stop here. Great Halen job. Green had been untouchable all season for the Horn Frogs. He has given up four in the ninth. And on senior day, the Wildcats have tied it. 
And now have the winning run at first with only one out. Goodwin swings and misses. Two for four day for Goodwin. Fastball away. March first and second. Trying to drive into Taylor at third. The wind blowing it back to him. He'll make it up. And now Kakaska. Be a great opportunity for someone who may be the player of the year to come up with a big hit right here. It's been a day of scuffling, a weekend of scuffling for Kakaska, and he'll swing and miss at the first offering from Green. Slider. Yesterday, Halen Green induced Kakaska into a ground out. This one hammered foul right side. Hanging breaking pitch just way early. Try to keep that fair if you can down that line. Two strikes, got to shorten it up. Put the ball in play. Oh, I green wanted that pitch. Everybody clap your hands. The eighth man to bat in the ninth for K-State. Four in the inning to tie the game. K-State scored four in the first, and now scored four in the ninth. Nothing in between. Everybody clap your hands. And an electric atmosphere at Toynton Family Stadium for those that have stuck around for the finish. Two and two. They tied him up last time with a fastball inside on a pop-up. Let's see what they do here. Brown ball finds a hole right side. Phillips will get to third. No, he'll hold up. Austin Waits threw up the stop sign. Phillips was thinking about it. But Zach Kikoska keeps the line moving, as Mike Clark said, and gets the sixth hit here in the ninth inning. Really good job of hitting with two strikes. Got the breaking pitch, pulled it through the hole there on the right side. And now you've got senior Chris Kikoska. I'm sorry, Ceballos. Ceballos to the I plate. Mean. And Ceballos has had a heck of a time trying to pull the ball. We'll see if he can find a hole on the right side. TCU playing him to pull on the infield. They've been throwing him soft stuff. And he's been rolling over on it. He's just got to stay back. Ceballos, the ninth man to bat the inning. The winning run at second base. Ceballos hits one deep to left. Back is Boyers. And it's gone! may have hurt himself with the celebration, which is the concern now. That may temper what had been an unbelievable moment for the senior that he'll never forget. A walk-off three-run homer as K-State scores seven in the ninth off the All-American Halen Green. 
to take the series from TCU. What a finish. Now, they've been getting him out with soft breaking pitches. He was sitting on it. Green hung it over the middle of the plate and launched it. That was a no doubter. What a comeback by the Wildcats. Just shows the heart, the soul, everything that Pete Hughes and the coaching staff have been working on all season long with these guys. Just absolutely it got chills up your back if you're a Wildcat fan right now. Well, there are a lot of heroes in this game. Cam Thompson comes to mind, four hits. He drove in three, the double there in the ninth. He kind of got it all really rolling for K-State. And Pete Hughes, who uh, had to be away from the ballpark, able to get his team fired up after that unbelievable finish and comeback in the ninth.